Um, so our first step was to put down a mulch to, to break down the soil and make it a bit more malleable. And then we found weeds coming up um, and then we started weed killing. Um, but that doesn't help because the, the, the herbicide you use kills the, um, the microbes, the soil life. So we've actually just left the, the weeds and what we found is that um, your soil life is actually most active around the root zones of, of plants. So the more roots you have, it doesn't matter if it's vine roots or weed roots, the more roots in the soil, the more of that rhizosphere you have and the more plants, the more microbes, the more soil life you, you get into the soil. So we're just leaving the weeds and some of it are these seasonal grasses that are going to die before winter. Some of it is clover, a lot of white clover here. Um, and look at this, this fixes nitrogen. So it takes the nitrogen from the air and puts it in the ground and, and, it, and it's in a form that's, that's, um, um, that the vine can actually metabolize. It can take it up and use it straight away. Most uh, inorganic fertilizers that you put down first need to be converted into an active form by uh, the soil microbes before the plants can use it. Um, and it's about enhancing soil health and that um, translates into healthier vines more vigor, um, but also they are better protected, better buffered against diseases because they're healthier. Um, and also you start realizing as you get a bit older, we've got two daughters that we want to leave the farm to. Do you want to leave a farm with barren soils or do you want to leave a farm where they can actually grow anything they want? Um, and that's what we're trying to do here. We're regenerating the soils and then once we've gotten to where they were, we'll make them even better. So initially when we bought the farm, it was fully planted with orchards and there was no space in between the plots. And one of the first things we did when we planned out the, uh, the new planting of the vineyards and the orchards was to separate the blocks and put a buffer zone in between them. So you can see it all along here, in between every commercial block, we have a strip, a tongue of fain boss of natural ve vegetation coming through. And that helps to, um, to create a zone, where a buffer zone, with natural predators that um, eat the pests that we don't want in the vineyards. They can overwinter here, they can survive here. Um, when we do uh, spray the vineyards, then they are safe here. And it also creates um, a barrier between blocks. So if there is a disease in one block, that um, it's more difficult for that disease to travel to a neighboring block if it's got to tra traverse that, that buffer zone.